Yo, how's it going guys and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. In today's episode we are going to be doing the first bit of Foot Champions highlights. I'm going to be bringing you more than one game on a Friday. Normally I just show the first game but today I played quite a lot of games. 14 games in fact and I can't say very much until we get into the gameplay but, but it went so well. It went so much better than I expected. We built a new squad so I'm going to be showing you that squad in this video but before we get into it if you do enjoy smash a like down below and subscribe for much more FIFA 20 content from myself so as i said at the end of last episode we sold everything and as you can tell by the title of the video we bought neymar but who do we put neymar with that is the question we had around 1.5 1.55 million coins so we were at a great spot and this is the team we've put together. I've went a totally different direction. We've gone back to a few players that I knew and loved. And we've gone for a few new players. So, we've gone for Jan Oblak. Now, I showed in the last video, we packed him from a two-player two pack. Jan Oblak is brilliant. One of the best goalkeepers I've used this year. He saves a lot of shots where you do think, wow, how has he done that? And I just love that from a goalkeeper. We've gone for Semedo. Semedo is so, so good. I never really experienced this Semedo when I've previously used him, but 41,000 coins, I can honestly say that's a great deal. The two centre-backs are so well-known, so trusted. Adair Militao and Longley. Longley, I didn't really appreciate the last time I had, but now with an anchor uh, chemistry style, he's amazing for me. It's, it's so strange. Mendy, my favourite left-back in the game. I just can't imagine playing without him now. Five-star week for four-star skill moves. 88 stamina, amazing pace. He's just a great card. In the midfield, we went for Frankie de Jong. Unfortunately, couldn't afford his ones to watch. I'll be getting that when I can. Uh, but the boosts aren't too massive anyway. It's just like plus ones in a few places. Griezmann, Griezmann. My God, Griezmann. 20 games, 20 goals, 15 assists. He's honestly one of the best cards I've used this year. The finishing is a joke. I've got a hunter on him, so what? he's got like 94 finishing. Great stamina. He can play as a cam because he tracks back. I think that was a thing with Griezmann in the past. He didn't have the stamina really to compete as a cam. But now that's where I play him and he is fantastic. Allen on A chemistry. He's great. Seven assists, two goals. He is honestly great on A chemistry. Don't notice the difference at all. Up front, we've gone for Usman Dembele. Now Usman is a bit of a passenger in this team. Five goals, two assists. He's good. He's nice link up play. He's got good pace. He's got very nice stats all around, really, but I cannot wait. If we keep with this team to upgrade to Lionel Messi. Imagine Lionel Messi in this team. With how well we've done with it so far, Lionel Messi would take it to the next level. Crespo, who's doing amazing things. 25 games, 29 goals, 23 assists. So good. I'm going to be bringing a Crespo review to the channel very, very soon. Because he is that good. I really do think he is that good. And left winger, Neymar. Neymar. His stats are a joke. 14 goals, 7 assists, and he plays mostly the left wing. So, I didn't expect this card to be as good as it is, but what, has he got 99 finishing there? It's just like a joke. He scores pretty much every touch. The one thing about Neymar is his stamina is a bit lacking. So, what I normally do is I start in a 4-3-3, the fourth variant with the cam, and then we switch up. So, we normally go for like a 4-1-2-1-2, or we go 4-2-2 if I'm seeing out a game, but... He's done so well, 850,000 coins we paid for him, so you'd expect a lot. But what I'm seeing from these cards is the ones that you pay a premium for, they do the extra bits for you. So you, give, you get a chance in the 90th minute, he scores it. You need him to do a little bit of a skill move, he creates his chance and, and sets someone up. He is that good, and having these front three, well, front four really, it's a dream to work with. And I think it is a massive upgrade on the Premier League team, which is surprising to me. Griezmann over Eriksen is just... Night and day. I thought Ericsson was amazing, but Griezmann is just on another level. His goal scoring stats, if I can keep that up, I will be amazed, but that is just a joke. So what I'm going to be doing is getting into actually showing you the highlights that I did manage to get with this team. I've played 14 games and you will see how well we did get on. We did make it onto the top 100 leaderboard. That's why that's probably in the title of this video too. It is not clickbait. We did actually make it to the top 100 leaderboard in the top five. So Let's just get into the highlights. So into the highlights we did go. Now I've played these games on the Friday morning. I normally get quite a few games in on the Friday morning, but not this many. And this isn't my first game. This isn't all 14. This is probably around seven or eight games. I can't remember. I just started recording 
uh, for around three hours of content. So I've edited three hours worth of games into these clips. I didn't want to make them last forever, but the first game I'm showing you, Griezmann, is at the double. Griezmann, he's clinical. His left foot is a joke. His celebrations are great, and I think he's a great card. I do play him in that cam spot, and this is what Neymar brings. I know we're winning 2-0 already, but Neymar with the roulette gets us the goal. It was just, honestly, a great feeling playing for champions this morning. I wanted to get as many games done as possible because the screen promo is tonight. The screen promo is in around... 20 minutes I think so it'll be interesting to see what we do get that'll probably be covered on tomorrow's road to glory I'll probably do a main video on it tonight but you can see I'm tearing I'm tearing this guy a new one really Griezmann with the Berber spin on his left foot he's not going to miss it well it's very rare that he does in fact miss as I said he's got the great celebrations and that was the first game we come up against this guy and this guy was very very tricky I was saying about Sane about Sane how he's not gonna score he does score with Sane and I was like oh it's gonna be one of them games 35 minutes in and Griezmann all he needs is a yard he honestly all he needs is a yard and he's got a goal it is honestly a brilliant brilliant card he is I think it's weird because sometimes he actually feels like he's outperforming Neymar which is bizarre I, I was really adamant on getting Griezmann in this team even though I hadn't used Griezmann before I hadn't really come up against him but I've loved him in the past and look at that goal from Deli Ali from my opponent to make it 2-2 I was mad. I was mad at this stage, 60th minute. I was streaming all of these games on Twitch, so make sure you check out the Twitch link in the description, but it was really fun. The chat was like so, so, so pushing me on to play more games, and it honestly, it paid out, and we score a banger with Crespo. Crespo, bangers are his forte. Like He honestly can score left foot, right foot. Finesse shots are just so easy to him. I didn't think his finishing would honestly be as good as it is, but... You can see there, we make it 4-2, we end up wrapping up this game and really turning it around from 2-1 down. It was a great comeback and a really tough opponent. This guy's got Inform Kane, Inform Ndidi, Lo Celso, Aguero, Aubameyang. He's got that Deli Alley again. So it was a tough team, but I just felt like, honestly, I felt untouchable. It's really weird. I don't often get it in FIFA. Well, I had it last week with, um, with the Saturday night. Saturday night, I won about 10 games in a row, but look at that from Neymar. That's what he brings Tough game, Neymar will grab it by the scruff of the neck. Um, but yeah, honestly, I just didn't feel like I was going to lose a game. I think I got to about 12 wins, and no, no, 10 wins. Normally I play 10 matches on the Friday, play all the 10 matches, and then I'm like, do I play on? And someone said, just play on, you're playing well, and you will um, get more wins, and we did get more wins. So, spoiler alert, as I just said, we did get to 10 wins, and what we actually did manage to get was 14 wins zero losses you can see i'm picking up the wins picking up the rage quits we do actually get a pack for getting like 50 foot champions uh wins nothing in the pack we didn't even get both so that was really disappointing i was hoping that we'd maybe get something good that we could use in the team but this guy he's got pep guardiola he's got salah lucas lucas mora is really really difficult to play against but frankie de jong Semedo, they were bossing it they were really just Dictating the play, Frankie de Jong is an exceptional CDM on this game. That's why I play him in a 4 1 2 1 2. Crespo with a banger of a shot. And once again, we are just being really positive. Playing the 4 3 3 with the wingers is just a really effective uh, formation. This guy does get one back on the 45th minute, but it doesn't matter. We were. I knew that I was playing better than most of the opponents. And that's the problem for the past two weeks that I've come up against guys. And I've played better, but they've ultimately got the win. He does score again with Coutinho in the 60th minute, so I was not happy. Um, but yeah, this it just all turned out to be absolutely brilliant. Neymar there, 74th minute. He goes with his right foot. I wanted him to go with his left because I thought crossbody with his left. But his finishing, as I say, what is it, 99 on the, with the chemistry style. So he shouldn't miss. And Neymar in the hardest game, I'd probably say. I don't know if I said the last game was the hardest, but this one... Probably was, I don't know. 84th minute, Neymar does score, and I was so relieved. And you can see, that's the first time that we did make it into the top 100. We are on 72 in the world. Obviously, it's not top 100 prizes, but it'd be cool if the weekend league ended. Now we'd uh, finish in the top 100. I think I might still be in the top 100, and I'm not too sure by the time this video does go live. But we were there, and Crespo, look at that. Heel to heel, ball roll, bangs one in to make it 1-0. And it was really, really good. Really, really positive playing with this team. Crespo, Griezmann, Neymar, I've got formations that I can switch up to um, and the custom tactics all just seem to be working which I'm sure when I jump on on Saturday it'll all um, 
fall apart. But for now, I'm happy with the way it's going, and I just hope we can keep it keep it flowing, really, because it'd be awesome if we could finish Elite 3 with two weeks. You can see we're in 31st in the world. Amazing. Imagine finishing 31st in the, 34th in the world, sorry. I just hope that we can keep the momentum. This guy's probably got the best team we've come up against. Messi, Son, Neymar. One of the players that we really, really do want. But he was very good. And Crespo with an absolute bullet from outside the box. That's what he does. But yeah, like I say, I just hope we can keep the momentum from Friday to Saturday. It's one of them things you can have an amazing start. A poor middle, but a decent end. And then we might end up gold one again. So I don't want to take for granted the 14 and 0. But it is honestly a phenomenal start. I really respect the guys that go top 100 every week. I have no idea how like people got 30 and 0 for every game to be switched on 100% and perform like such a high level. Not get annoyed by the little rebounds, everything like that. Because that's what I was doing this morning. If it went my opponent's way, I wasn't losing my cool. I wasn't like rushing and um, doing rush tackles, things like that. I was just staying calm. I knew I had to play well. Um, and I was playing well, and I knew that maybe sometimes I just had to switch up the formation. That is a lovely fake shot from Crespo, by the way. His agility is fantastic, and another rage quit. So I was very, very happy. The games were going very quick, and it made me feel like switching the team, switching the team was what we needed because we, what, we've had two close run-ins with um, Elite 3, and we've been, what, one win off last week. Look, look at that from Crespo. The Berber spin into the shot is brilliant on his weak foot as well amazing but yeah we've been so close maybe adding an icon adding Neymar adding uh, Griezmann eventually De Jong Frankie De Jong is great All Black is brilliant and I just was really really happy 800,000 coins for Neymar he's doing bits he's honestly probably well I don't think that's a penalty for one but yeah I was happy with it anyway not taking it with Neymar that's one thing I'm not doing I'm not taking penalties with Neymar his run-up is awful I don't know what it is. He like starts in the middle, goes out to the left, and then like cuts around. I do not like it at all, but he bangs them in. He's through again. He and Neymar. Is he going to miss? No, he's not. He's always going to score in that position. And they get another rage quit. So I don't know what it was. With this Friday morning, they felt, felt very, very smooth, like I say. But switching from Son to Crespo, if you're looking to do icon swaps, Crespo, I would definitely recommend him. We're into ninth in the world amazing stuff I, <laughs> I didn't think I would see that ever to be honest I didn't think I would find a consistency in the play but it just seems to be working I've gone back to a formation that I love players that I do love as well new players Griezmann all doing well for me so for me I played a draft this morning got nothing from the draft I got to like the third round and lost I bottled that one and I played a division rivals match and I lost that as well look at that in the 90th minute my opponent misses that I was like honestly wow I lost them two matches and I was like, is this team really for me? Is it why spending so much on Neymar? But I have to remember that Longley, Militao, Mendy and who else did we have? Um, Samedo, they are all very, very meta. Used by top 100 players. So it can't be bad going with them guys. They are so, so good. And we come up against this guy. He's got a stupid name. So I was so, so happy that we could beat him. I... Don't know how I'll report him, but he was just an idiot. So I was so happy. Look at this from Neymar. Hits the bar. I honestly thought he had a touch at the time. But this guy was a good player. He was 1-0 up. And I knew I was the better player. I knew because we gifted him the goal. I think I was just um, a bit nervous because it took so long to load into the games. I don't know why it was taking so long. But Griezmann in the box on his left foot. Finesse doesn't miss. It was taking so long, I think, because of the ELO. The ELO was so high that, honestly, it couldn't find anyone, really, who was matching up against us. We were fourth in the world. I was scared because I thought we'd be coming up against a pro. This guy was far from a pro, though. I got very lucky here to make it 2-2. Um, after he just make it, made it 2-1 to him with Bale. But Neymar, look at this. Very, very lucky to get the ball here. But Neymar, scoop into the bottom right-hand corner for me. And I was just so happy. 87th minute. And this is when I just stopped. I stopped. I thought 14 and 0 for the day is just so good. I cannot really push my luck anymore. And we are third in the world. So, like I said in the title, we did get managed to uh, did manage to get up to third in the world. Whether we'll end up there, probably not. But I hope we can get Elite Three at least. Elite Three is still the aim for this weekend. We need nine wins from the rain, remaining 16. So. If we don't do it, then I'll probably deactivate the YouTube channel. I'll probably delete uh, my Foot Club. I can't bottle this, surely. I've put a lot of pressure on myself now because we have done so well at the start. 
But it was an amazing morning. I didn't think we would do so well. I'm so, so happy with the team. Thank you, everyone who left uh, suggestions with how I should run the team, who I should pick. Mbappe will join eventually. Mbappe is a fantastic player. Mbappe, Messi, Van Dijk. These guys are just so expensive. But if we can get decent rewards, it will really speed up the process of getting these cards. I really do have them guys in my head for when I want to pick them up so, so soon. But that is going to be the end of the video. Hopefully I'll be back very, very soon with some really cool screen promo stuff. Some more videos on how to like unlock the objectives. Maybe some SBCs, things like that. We'll have to find out what EAG you drop in 13 minutes. If you did enjoy, drop a like and subscribe for more content. But I'll see you all later.